talk about uh, what we've been doing all week long. We've been talking about common aches and pains as part of our pain in the... Yeah. Ooh. Thank you. Uh, we, a little we, slow on that one. Sorry. Let's do it in here. It's and Friday. Just, here come on go. in. It's a big old party. Uh, <laughs> we've is. talked about the knee, the back, the sinus, the feet. Today we're talking about how that food impacts our elf on our tummy. Elf on your tummy? Uh, yeah, I've got an elf. Enough room for it anyways. <laughs> oh, that's cute. All right, if you suffer from, that's not cute. If you suffer from heartburns, heart, headaches, fatigue, and joint pain, it can all be tied to what's in your fridge. It's breakfast time and you're hungry for a burrito. The flour tortilla, the fluffy eggs, crispy bacon coming together in each delicious bite. But stop right there. People don't realize that um, what they're eating directly can affect things such as headaches, such as um, anxiety, such as heartburn. They don't call junk food junk for nothing. But food sensitivity to fruits, vegetables, meats and grains could be what's causing you pain. When you're eating the wrong foods, the body has trouble breaking it down. The immune system has to figure out what's going on here, and it asks your liver, which is doing a lot of other things, to help try and clean that stuff up from the bloodstream. Stressing your body, which affects you. The most troublesome foods? Dairy, gluten, sugar, and corn. But it depends on the person. A lot of times, not all the time, it can actually correlate with, with the patient's blood type and, and according to that philosophy of eating according to the blood type. A blood analysis and food elimination test are two ways to pinpoint what your body likes and what it doesn't like. I have seen more problems improve, health problems improve by changing what people are eating. So the next time you take a big bite, make sure your body actually wants it. So if you are thinking about getting tested for food sensitivity, the doctor recommends blood tests as a start, which you have done, right? Well, I did the, the blood, diet, blood diet, which foods can react. Did you get tested first? No, yeah. I knew, well, no, I, I knew, knew, I knew my blood type. type. I knew okay. my blood type. Right. And, and there's a list that says, okay, you're a, a negative, then these foods will encourage weight loss. These wow. foods will create uh, fat did storage. It did it work? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, combined with, I, you know what it is. You were eating right. Exactly. You're eating right, right. and yeah. you're exercising, doing right. yoga, and all together right. and that I'm combined. And sugar's not like, oh, you're, you know, you're B positive or whatever. Okay, you should be eating uh, cheese and tortilla chips and. No, yeah, you know, those I things mean, aren't on the list, everything, right? Everything is probably. But some are, I guess, list, will right? it will encourage the bur fat burning yeah. more than other foods, depending mm. on your. On, it works. Great. It works. Yeah. Wow, Listen. I love that. All right, everyone.